Hello and welcome to episode 42 of my Working with Evernote series. Now, in this episode, what I want to do is to show you how you can put projects, notes or tags into your favorites section of to do uh, of Evernote. Now, the reason I want to do this is because with the recent update to the iOS version of Evernote, having all the most the, the notes or the notebooks or the tags that you want to get access to the quickest throughout the day is going to be very, very useful because Evernote has now made access to particular uh, to your favorites really, really simple and very, very quick. So now I, I realize that the favorite section of Evernote is something that is particularly useful since we've had this update. Now, for those of you who use Android, uh, I'm sure these are going to come very, very soon. Evernote's been working on this for quite some time, so I'm sure the updates to the Android versions and Windows version will come very quickly. However, when you're using desktops or laptops, then it's actually pretty okay because you, you drag the favorites into the top uh, section of the Evernote window, so that's not too much of a problem. But particularly on iOS now, the favorite section is just one click away. You can get straight into the note that you really, really want. And throughout the last couple of weeks since we got iOS um, version 8, uh, I have found that this is probably one of the best features that the new version of Evernote has come up with. So I want to show you just, I may have covered this before in other episodes, I know, but what I want to do is to show you again just so that you know definitely how you can get your notes into the favorite section so that you have very, very quick access to them from an iOS device, whether that's the iPad or the iPhone. So let's go in and have a look and I'll show you how this is done. Okay, so here we are in my inbox and what you can see is um, <coughs> I have five notes in my inbox. Very good boy, I'm keeping it down, so nothing underneath there, you see. And well, let's take a look at what we've got in here. <coughs> I've got a few notes in here, but the thing I really wanted to show you was my shortcuts. Now, the shortcuts are on the top left-hand side of your uh, window. And at the top, I've got my inbox because that's where I like to keep things. I've got my incubator, and my incubator has everything you could imagine. So my uh, Evernote video series ideas, this week's schedule, that the, the things that I'm going to put into the the um, my three videos that I do each week. Uh, we have a TV series idea that we came up with, my Todoist video ideas. So I have ideas will get dropped into here as and when I need them. Now I have my work here, my word of the day, which is just a list of words that I want to add to my weekly word of the day for my language students. And my free talking file is for all the articles that uh, I might wish to discuss with my students. So let's go back into my inbox. Now, what you'll notice in my inbox is actually considered a notebook. My incubator folder is a notebook. This means that it's a tag. So my word of the day file is actually a tag. And my free talking is a folder. Now, the thing is, you can actually drag notes into your shortcut. So I can drag a note in here, just like that. <clears throat> and now that note is in my shortcut. So I can come straight back to that note. This is perfect for those those things that you are working on at this particular moment in time. So as you remember on the on the new iOS app for your phone or your tablet, your favorites menu is right down on the bottom dock in the new Evernote. This means that it's going to make it so much easier for you to get to your notes and that means that you can add your, as soon as you have an idea, bang, you can get straight into that note and start adding those ideas. A fantastic thing. But what you need to do is to make sure that you're fully aware of where your shortcuts are and how to add them in there. You can do it the hard way, which you can click on. Um, <clears throat> uh, I, I believe you can do it the hard way. Um, actually, here it would say add note to, sh uh, to shortcut. Let's just hang on a minute. Let's just go into this one. I will control click on this, add note to shortcuts and bang, I can just add it in there. But to be honest, I don't want it in there. So the easiest way is just to drag them into your shortcuts. But <clears throat> if you wish, you can actually uh, control click and add a note to a shortcut if you wish. That's entirely up to you. Bit 
harder, I think. But there you go. That's one way of doing it. Anyway, I really wanted to share that with you because I think now with the new iOS app, and I'm sure that's going to come to the Android version and the <clears throat> and all the other versions in, in future updates, this is something that you can really take advantage of so you can get straight to those notes and adding your ideas and whatever else you add into your Evernote notes <clears throat> that you're working on. Okay, I hope you found this episode useful. Uh, please join me again in the next episode. Oh, and for those of you guys who use Todoist, don't forget this week saw the launch of my Working With Todoist, the book. It is now available on both Amazon and iBook stores, so please go out there and get yourself a copy. And in the rest of it, I just wish you all a very, very productive week, and I will see you in the next episode. <laughs>